Good morning. How are you all? I hope that you are all doing well. In our weekly plan for today, we have to read the story when Arthur wouldn't sleep uh, and um, highlight the main words in it. Are you ready? Yes. So let's go. Now, first of all, I'd like you to highlight the title when Arthur wouldn't sleep. Let's go on. Before you read each paragraph, I want you to look at each picture carefully. Look at this picture. Can you see these? Yes. One is Arthur and the other is Flora. Okay. As you see, Flora is sleeping while Arthur is gazing at the clouds. Let's read together. Come on, Flora, Arthur said. Please highlight the first character in the story, Flora, and highlight the verb said. Said is the simple past of the verb uh, say. Let's go on. Let's play jumping. Who said this? Yes, Arthur. Shh, Flora mumbled. It's bedtime. Time to go to sleep. So, mumbled, what does it mean? Yes, murmured. Now, mumble means murmur or speak softly. Now, who wanted to go to sleep? Yes, look at Fl Flora. She slept already while she wants to sleep. While, what about Arthur? Does he want to sleep? No, he wanted to play jumping. The butterflies were not sleeping in the bees. Uh, were not sleeping. The bees were busy buzzing. And the grasshoppers were jumping all over the place. Please highlight these words. Butterflies, bees, grasshoppers. They are examples on a plural words. The plural words. Butterflies is the plural word of butterfly. Bees, the plural word of bee. Grasshoppers, the, flor uh, the plural word of uh, the word grasshopper. Now, Buzzing is the sound of the bees while flying, right? Yes. So, this paragraph tells us that everything around Arthur was encouraging him to play, not to sleep like Flora. I don't want to go to sleep, grumbled Arthur. Now, I, who said this sentence, I refers to Arthur. Grumbled is one of the new vocab. And do you remember what does it mean? Yes, complain. Uh, Arthur complained that he doesn't want to go to sleep. Let's proceed. Arthur gazed up at the clouds. Look at Arthur. He is gazing up at the clouds. The more he gazed, the more funny shapes he saw. What does gaze mean? Do you remember what does it mean? Yes, look for a long time or look at. So, the more Arthur gazed at the uh, clouds, the more funny shapes he saw. Now, before we see the picture, please, uh, so is the simple past of C. Please, so is the simple past of C. And, um... Uh, please, uh, I want you to highlight so and write it's the simple past of C. Look at Arthur. The more he gazed, the more funny shapes. Look, he is seeing funny shapes in the sky. Let's proceed. Then he started feeling very light. Slowly he started going up and up and up. Then is a connective. Connective means linking word. Highlight then and write connective or link linking word. Now he, who he, who started to uh, feel that he's going up and up? Arthur. Highlight he and make arrow to Arthur. He started feeling very light. Do you know what does very light mean? Yes, it means not heavy. He started feeling himself not heavy. Slowly. Highlight the word slowly. Slowly ends with L-Y. So it's an adverb. Yes. Slowly he started going up and up and up. Look at Arthur. While he was gazing at the clouds, he started seeing funny or funny shapes. 
then he felt himself going up and up as if he's flying to the sky. Let's go on. Okay, now, soon he met a hippo. So highlight hippo, this is our third character in the, in the uh, story. Uh, met, highlight it please, it's the simple past of meat. And do you remember what does meat mean? Yes, see uh, a person face to face. Okay, it means see. Now, where do you want to go? The hippo asked. Now, where? Highlight it. We studied them last week. Where is a question word? And it's used to ask a, uh, about places for a place. So, where do you want to go? He's asking him about the place he wants to go. The hippo asked. He asked whom? He asked Arthur. So, you refers to Arthur. Look at the hippo. Actually, the hippo was a character of the clouds, the funny shape that he imagined that he saw. I want to go where no one goes to sleep. Who said this? Arthur. He wants to go to a place where nobody sleeps there. So goes because it is, uh, uh, it ends with, uh, with S, E, S. It's simple, present, highlight it, please. And off they go. Off means up. Off they go, they took off. Okay, flu, flu uh, is the simple past of a fly. Now they, what does it refer to? It refers to both Arthur and the hippo. Let's proceed. Go to the next page. This is your stop, said the hippo. The hippo stopped. Look at the picture. The hippo stopped in this place and told uh, Arthur that this is your stop. This is your station. Stop means station or a place where nobody will sleep or sleeps. A ladybird was waiting for Arthur. Highlight ladybird. This is the next character in the story. Look at the ladybird. Okay. She is holding a stop sign. And look what she will say to Arthur. A ladybird was waiting for Arthur. Come with me, said the ladybird. But don't forget, no sleeping. And who did not want to sleep? Arthur. So she warned him that if you go inside, there is no sleeping. Now please highlight me. What does me refer to? Come with me. Me refers to the ladybird. And but is a connective or linking word, and it means uh, uh, it means we use it when we want to say the contradictory or opposite uh, sentence. Soon, look at the picture first. Inside the place where Arthur uh, get uh, got inside, we have here a group of characters as you see. We have sheep, we have the ladybird, and we have the grasshopper, and uh, somebody is playing music, drums, and the others are dancing. The grasshopper is holding a mic. Let's read. Soon they arrived at the party. Who arrived at the party? Both Arthur and the ladybird. What a party! This is an exclamation mark. What here is not a... Question word. It's used for exclam exclamation to uh, say that it's a great party. It's time for the amazing Crazy Legs dancing competition. So what do they have inside? They have a competition. Competition, what does it mean? Contest, yes. So they have a competition. What is this competition for? It's for amazing Crazy Legs dancing. The grasshopper said... Said is the simple past of say. So the grasshopper told Arthur that this is a competition uh, for crazy legs dancing. Look, he's speaking in, with the mic. Next. 
I think I have to stop here so it uh, will be easier for me to send the video then we will continue in part two see you